Investing in securities involves risk, including the risk of loss. Investors may make or lose money. Past performance is no guarantee of future results, and no one can guarantee what the market is going to do from day to day or minute to minute. Have you ever wanted your own business? The ability to build something special for you and your family? Instead of working all your life to build a business for someone else, how about having a portable business that you can take anywhere? A business without customers, no inventory, no complicated tax or accounting issues, no storefront, complex marketing program, or any of the other headaches associated with a new business that could take $150,000 just to get off the ground. I've been fortunate enough to operate a couple businesses and no inventory, no employees, and no overhead. The ultimate business, really. And I look at this as that type of business. I love day trading because my wife and I have a place in Tennessee. So it used to be we could only go down after got off work on Friday and then head back on Sunday. Now we'll head down Wednesday night. I'll work down there Thursday, Friday of the whole weekend. I'll work again down there Monday. And then after I get done, we'll drive back home. I hate every weekend. <laughs> um, yeah, three day weekends because you know you can't make any money. And you know, that's kind of the, the goal. And since you're not really working 40, 50, 60 hours a week, I know that if I could trade on Saturday and Sunday and you know, work four or five hours, I'd do it every time. What attracted me most to day trading was the freedom, uh, the ability to work whenever I wanted to, uh, the ability to turn it on, turn it off, go on vacation. I didn't have to worry about a business that I had to you know, have employees run or that would have to run in the background. You can do it uh, anywhere you have an internet connection. Do it at any time that the market's open. You can pick it up, put it down, you know, and, and just do it day by day. I can make the kind of money I make day trading doing any number of things, but I can't do it from anywhere in the world whenever I want. I mean, I can take my laptop and we can go to Europe and we can day trade from Europe. My goal at my home business is to create $1,000 a day in cash on average every day. Last week I was in Savannah and on Friday I made nearly $1,700 in an hour. So if you'll give me a few quick minutes, I'll show you how I do it. And I'll let you hear from a few who've had their entire lives changed by this special program. And all candor, it's my sincere hope that the next few minutes changes your life as well. My name is Jay Ratliff and for years people have contacted me from around the world asking that I teach them how to consistently make money from Wall Street. 22 years ago, I heard someone say the stock market could be used as a business. And I remember thinking that was the dumbest statement I'd ever heard in my life. After all, Wall Street was just for the big boys. Day trading was too risky, too irresponsible. Everyone lost money. And it was more like gambling than anything else, or so I thought. At the time, I was a general manager in the airline industry, and I knew I needed a plan B if I lost my job. So I began an in-depth study of the stock market as a way to protect my future. I started reading books and attending seminars from the so-called experts and found that most of what they taught was far too risky for me. They would trade on margin with borrowed money or would use options, and their success seemed limited to no more than 50%. Well, I wanted more. One of the concepts that did catch my eye, though, was on stocks that rolled or channeled consistently from a support point to a resistance level. I started watching stocks like Com Air, a Delta Airlines commuter airline. Their stock traded around $20 a share. But if you watched over the course of the next several months, it would drift down to $20 a share, and then four or five months later, it would rise back to $23 a share. It was a nice 15% profit a year, just like that. No guessing, no gut feelings or hunches, just a very clear entry and exit point, which allowed me to make rather impressive gains using the stock market. Come here, stock performance made me wonder, are there other stocks out there that rolled in a similar fashion? Well, to my surprise and delight, there were hundreds of stocks that rolled just like Com Air, and I found myself investing non-stop in as many as I could grab. After a few years, I found my batting average growing from 40 to 50 and then 60% and more. I was also looking for stocks that rolled on a daily basis. This way I could greatly eliminate my exposure to risk by limiting the amount of time my money was in the market. The key to reducing your risk is to, is to minimize the amount of time you have your money's at risk in the market whenever possible. And the system really helps you to do that a lot. By 2003, my batting average hit 70% and I was off to the races. By 2008, I was hitting 150,000 a year. 
and in 2009, I made right at $200,000 trading stocks on a daily basis. I told you I'd share how I did it. Well, here you go. I was taking my cash portfolio of $25,000, and I was generating $1,000 a day in profits. Now, I was only using a small portion of my existing cash portfolio to make this happen. In the course of a morning, I would use as an example $2,000 on an over-the-counter stock looking for a 15% revenue gain. I'd put $5,000 on a NASDAQ security looking for a 10% return. I'd throw $5,000 on a New York stock security with a 5% revenue goal and $700 on a pink sheet security in pursuit of a 50% profit. The over-the-counter bulletin board stock took 30 minutes and made me $300. The NASDAQ security climbed in two hours and made me $500. The New York Stock Exchange security took one hour and made me $250, and the Pink Sheet security took 90 minutes and generated $350. Using half of my trading portfolio, I generated $1,400 in profits and ended the day with no stocks being held over and no risk associated with my overnight portfolio. Even though only half of my money was used, my portfolio increased by 5.6% in one day. I discovered that people other than the big boys on Wall Street could make money. With a batting average of more than 75% using very specific entry and exit points, it wasn't gambling, and it was something that anyone could do. One morning recently, uh, I did, did earn a nice profit within 30 seconds, really within three minutes of the market opening, and uh, found an, a stock that met our criteria, and quickly uh, was able to purchase it, and immediately was able to sell it for actually a little bit above you know, what I was wanting to make. Day trading has freed up so much of my time. Uh, I like to spend more time with my grandchildren, um, spend time on hobbies, um, you know, go fishing, travel. It's, it's, it's changed my life. Sometimes Sean will catch something about a stock that I won't. Sometimes I'll catch something that she won't. Like, hey, did you see this? Oh, yeah, I did see that. So that works really well, the back and forth. And then, yeah, we, we completely decide independently uh, when we're going to jump in on a stock when we're going to sell a stock. We try to learn from each other's successes and failures. And so that, I think, helps, uh, helps us probably learn a little faster than your average student. And we don't have any sort of <laughs> risk-reward system that the loser doesn't have to cook dinner or anything like that. Maybe we should. We should. Yeah. Maybe not, because I'd probably, I'd probably lose a you lot. You would lose a lot. Yeah. Maybe we shouldn't do that. Yeah. No, that's a bad idea. I was having the time of my life, and I started thinking about training other people which initially sounded like a rather stupid idea. I mean, why spend all of this time learning how to successfully trade stocks and then teach other people to compete against you? But I started to notice the millions and millions of shares that were being traded on many of the stocks I was using. There was more than enough room at the table for others, so in 2009, I started teaching this program to a limited number of people one-on-one -on -one, over the course of a 12-month period of time. Jay's guidance is an instrumental. He really knows the markets. He's a very effective communicator and uh, his passion for teaching shows through very quickly. Jay's the most important tool that we have. Um, if I have a question on any stock, I can shoot an email and get a response back um, almost instantaneously. It, it's nice having that backup to know that you're not out there on your own. I couldn't do it without Jay. In fact, at the very beginning, I made a few trades that I thought, well, yeah, this is Jay's rules, but I kind of like this. And after losing money a few times, I decided I'm going to stick with the rules. It's huge to have uh, Jay's help on this on a daily basis, have access to him you know, live during the, uh, during the market. It is just tremendous. Um, it's the best live classroom environment I think you could imagine, really. Your office is your laptop. You can take it anywhere you choose to be. Stay home, take it with you on a vacation, to the park or to the pool. Use the stock market for all six and a half hours a day or use it for one or two hours. Trade every day or trade once or twice a week. It's your call because it's your business. Get up in the morning, get pour a cup of coffee, walk in my office, turn the computer on, and I'm ready to go, no commute. I like it. I definitely plan on doing it the rest of my life. I mean, the flexibility, I mean, if I don't want to work a day, I don't. It's funny I call it work, but it's not work. Jay's program has changed my life, I would say, dramatically. Um, I was a real estate broker, and so I was working, you know, 60, 80 hours a week, just crazy hours. We never felt like we could go anywhere, never felt like we could take a real vacation. We're always connected to the phone, always connected to the computer. Real estate's a 24-7 business, so people are, you know, constantly calling. With day trading, like I said, you can, you can turn it on, you can turn it off whenever you want. 
Um, there's nobody that you have to answer to. You truly don't have a boss. You don't have clients. You don't have customers. It's just you in the market. Now, the stock market can be a treacherous place. If you don't know what you're doing, most people who take on Wall Street without a proven system get creamed, and some in a rather spectacular fashion. I've watched the market for over 20 years. I know its secrets. I know how to use the stock market as my own personal ATM. The program we have is limited because there are only so many people I can train one-on-one -on -one over the course of 12 months. If you're serious about taking control of your financial future, this course could be just the ticket. Wall Street's for real. I'm for real. My students are for real. And this program is for real. And the profits this course generates are definitely for real. Last week, one of our students made over $7,500 in less than 30 minutes from his kitchen table. One of our students from Ohio, Gary, is batting over 90% this month. Many days, I've made two, $3,000 in a day. So setting a goal of 1,000 is, is really a low goal. There's been days when I've you know, turned my computer on, start you know, looking at stocks, something pops up on my screen, and uh, I buy it. A couple minutes later, I sell it. I've made my goal, close my computer down, take the whole day off. Day trading's fun. I mean, it really is. Once you get into it and you're starting to make money, you know, there's a certain amount of thrill to it. Um, you know, you're, you're, you're just creating money out of thin air, basically, off of, out of Wall Street. And it's a blast. It's really a lot of fun. So if you're interested in learning more, contact us through our Day Trade Fund website. We'll provide the very latest on our application and enrollment process. Investing in securities involves risk, including the risk of loss. Investors may make or lose money. Past performance is no guarantee of future results, and no one can guarantee what the market is going to do from day to day or minute to minute.